In keeping with our hot Saturday theme this week, our chef on a shoestring today is a white hot executive chef from Northern California, Christopher Costow, with some lighter but still very hot seasonal ingredients. Great to see you. How are you doing? All right? Good to be here. Thanks Welcome to the East Coast. Wonderful. <laughs> hey, let's talk about what's on the menu first before we get started. All right, this gonna, looks dynamite. Well, thank, we're going to do a little uh, tomato and stone fruit salad with some uh, ricotta and some basil, a little roasted cod with bacon, chives, and corn pudding, and a little strawberry soup for dessert with some yogurt and some lime strawberry zest. Strawberry soup. Now, I don't think we have done cod in forever. It's a shame. Um, it's, we, a great I mean, dish. it's been a long, long time, so I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Let's start, uh, let's let's start here. What do we got? So in the bowl, we have a little bit of heirloom tomato, okay. uh, some peaches. Uh, I'm going to throw a little bit of basil leaf in there, a little bit of sort of a coarse sea salt, yep. and a really nice amount of extra virgin olive oil. You know, we've had a lot of chefs on la lately that have been using a little sea salt. What's the difference between the sea salt and the regular well, it salt? It gives you a minerality and flavor, but also gives you that crunch. So in yeah. a salad, you, it kind of it stays with you. It doesn't dissolve really in, in, okay. in the oil. And we're just going to finish with a little um, just shaved plum. You know, we're using a little mandolin here. You're more, you can certainly use a knife if need be. Can I just, mind if I just grab one Please, of these? Please, absolutely. Show how nice and thin and fine. Can you, you see if you can get a, get a camera on that? See how nice that looks good, huh? So yeah. very simply, we're just going to kind of offset all, the, all of the acid in the tomato and in Simple the peach. Simple pleasures. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to offset all that acid with a little bit of fresh ricotta, and we can kind of just build the salad accordingly. So a tomato salad, obviously, is very common for summertime. This kind of, you know, puts it on its ear a little bit by adding some stone fruit. Now, let's say you're not a huge ricotta fan. Would you? recommend any other mozzarella be yeah. fine um, or no cheese at all uh, maybe it's summertime so yeah. so it's all about you know the, the products and and not being stuck in the kitchen for for, for too long. Yeah, make exactly. it quick and make, make it, it quick and make it good exactly. I'll probably finish a little more salt so there you go. Please do. First Please of all, do. I love basil. It's probably one of my favorite things in all well, the then, universe. Well, then I'll leave you another piece Love ricotta, of basil. and I love heirloom yeah. tomatoes as well. So I'm yeah. just gonna actually Wonderful. gonna drop it the trifecta right here. There you go. So folks at home, yes, I'm gonna indulge here a little bit. So. So good. So if, if the products are good, it's going to be it's going to be good. It's actually really nice. Wonderful. Yeah, it's nice and light too. And there you go. Especially like I said in the intro after last weekend. Oh, exactly. And again, summertime. It's it, it's not about braising meats for long periods of time or slaving in the kitchen. It's about having really good, simple products. So we're going to move on to a little roasted cod. Yeah. So a cod's a fish we use quite a bit. Really high fat content. It flakes beautifully. Yeah. Um, it's not too expensive. Well, let me ask you that because of the flakiness and its delicate nature, do you have to be careful? I mean. I've, I'm just saying for the person at home, you got it, it can break up pretty quickly. So you got to be a little bit. But you can actually, cautious. you can actually, you can actually work against it. You can actually salt the fish, which is what they do in Scandinavian countries. Okay. It firms up the flesh, holds it together. So a piece of fish okay. like that will just kind of bury in salt for 10 minutes, rinse it, and it kind of really holds together. How nicely. big a piece is that? We're looking at like four that's six like, ounces. That's like that's almost four ounces. Four ounces. Yeah, okay. yeah. So again, summer, smaller portions. Um, so as that as that fish cooks, we're actually going to. Um, Put on the plate, we made a little corn pudding. So this is kind of interesting. It's simply corn juice that we bring to a boil and the natural starch is thickened. So all that is is corn juice. You can't you can finish with a little bit of butter. But it's pure corn juice kind of cooked down and it kind of gives you that nice, nice uh, sort of luxurious texture without long, any fat. How long does it have to simmer for? To really, get until it, it depends on the corn. really depends on the sugar content and the starch content. But pretty much until it thickens, once it thickens, you're ready to go. Okay, cool. So we're going to put a little bit of the corn pudding on the plate. You got a little bacon up there? A little bacon as well, so we're going to... And it doesn't take long for that cock. Not at all, not at all, not at all. So that's pretty much ready right there. Plate it, let's take a look. We can go right to the plate. And again, that'll flake nice. And then just a little bacon garnish A little top, bit huh? of bacon, why not? It's corn and bacon. You can put a little of those chives on there as well. Where do those chives go? No, here we go. Sorry. Yeah. And there you go. Very, very in? simple. How about that? There you go. <laughs> I'm going to have a bite of this while you start Absolutely. So we're going to do a little strawberry soup. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the bowl some fresh strawberries, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sweet wine. We'll use like a Napa sweet wine. Um, you can use like, this is actually a, it's really nice. a, a, a sweet rosé, actually. A little, bit, a little bit of water. I love the bacon taste on yeah. the fish, too. I mean, bacon, bacon makes everything better. Yeah. So we're going to kind of mix all these things together again, and we're going to cook it over a double boiler. Okay. So what we have is this is sort of your finished product right here. So this is kind of cooked for, for about six, six or seven hours. Gives it a nice little, syrup, a little flavor. Yeah, absolutely. So we can just kind of go right to the plate. We're going to use a little uh, sheep's milk yogurt, mm -hmm. um, which has a nice sort of acidity to it. Just a little bit in the bowl. And then we're just going to put the strawberries themselves right in the bowl. And again, this is one of those dishes, perfect for summer. Your detail to attention is, is amazing. Dessert, perfect <laughs> oh my summer. They love their Hi. desserts. What? 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 Their desserts. <laughs> there you go. So this is just the, the, the strawberries that have cooked in their own juice, really. And we'll just put a little bit. Yeah. We'll put a little bit of the soup in there as well. 
That looks fantastic. Doesn't it? Yeah. So it's like really good yogurt. What temp? What temperature? Such an artist. Just sort of let the let the water simmer and a little bit of lime zest as well. Thank you. Yeah. Or did you try it? I can't wait. Give it a shot. Let's see she how low you went. She came well, and took that right out of so you know right your hand right there. Yeah. That's why well, this is what happens. People try and put the finishing touches, and I come and grab and it. There right you go. There we go. Let's see how you did. Uh, you, you spent thirty-seven dollars and ninety cents. You had forty to spend. Let's see where you rank. If you do, oh, you just missed wow. getting into our how low can you go poll right there. Our top three, as you can see, you were so so mm. close. But ours taste better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they didn't use cod. There you go. I think a lot of them just use pasta exactly. and things exactly. like that. Exactly. I like the confidence. Great job. That's awesome. That was awesome. Really great job. Appreciate it. Excellent. Thank you very much. If you'd like to make this menu at home, guess what? You can find the recipes at cbsnews.com slash Saturday. All of the recipes are there, not only for today's chef, but our chefs in the past. But you probably don't want to go in the past because nah, it, it, this was the hottest menu that we've had in the longest time because exactly. today's the hottest show we've had in a long time. It's good to see you. Thanks so much. Don't go away. We're going to be right back with, you guessed it, a very hot encore performance from Christina Perry. This is the early show right here on CBS.